I'm the wife of Nashville star winner Buddy Jewel, and it was really cool because we got to watch her on TV as she was watching her husband rise to the top. Now they are living the life they have always dreamed of. Stay around. Today, Jewel is here, and I think she's brought a special guest that you may know real well. <laughs> She's not used to all this TV stuff yet. It hasn't been that long since Buddy won the big prize and became a country star. So all of this television and radio and being in the limelight is still very new to you, isn't it? It's is very new. And it is very for people new. out there who wonder, you know, what you and your family are put in the spotlight, how do you describe what that is like? Uh, scary. <laughs> is it, you really think so? Oh my gosh. It, it is. It's scary because you just never know what somebody's going to say or how they're going to perceive you and you think, oh, just be yourself, just be yourself, relax, relax, it'll be okay. But Isn't it that is. the hardest thing to do though when people say be yourself because you, I guess most of us just don't concentrate on ourselves so we wonder, well, what is being me all about? Have you had to kind of figure that out? <laughs> I think so. Well, listen, I think I have. You know, we all feel like we know you because when Nashville Star was going on and now that, you know, Buddy is a, a country star, he talks about you so much and gives you so much credit for standing behind him. Makes me cry. Yeah. Don't cry. So sweet. <laughs> It really is so sweet. It's, it's been wonderful. We we knew we knew God had a plan for him, and we just had to wait. And we knew that his timing would be the right timing, and so we just waited for him. And and here we are. <laughs> and uh, does Buddy trust you in front of the camera? I, now I said she had a special guest. <laughs> Buddy is watching in the wings. Buddy, do you think we can handle this? Sure you can. <laughs> he says he thinks we can. <laughs> okay, what are we making? Is this something that you make for Buddy and the family at your house? I have. I've made this. The kids really enjoy it. It's a different way to do chicken than just grilling it or putting in, you know, boiling it and putting it in the oven. So we're making a chicken kebab and a pasta salad. Mm -hmm. oh. And the kids love. They love the pasta salad. Oh, now see, sometimes they push the vegetables away and they just eat the pasta. <laughs> 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 oh, really? Just, I think the they're like trying to get them to eat it. <laughs> right. <laughs> eat your vegetables. So I think since the pasta takes so long, should we just go ahead and we'll dump do that, that in first? first? We got your mm -hmm. water going. Oh, that it is really, really boiling. So don't don't splash yourself. Oh, I burned no. myself on the last show. We had a hot burner oh, going. I just put my hand down. Like, oh. oh, that's not good. Look We've got our lovely. Mess. Now, people, I, people go crazy with use some organic pasta, and it tastes just like regular pasta. It's just made the same way. But wild oats uh, gets it from Italy, and it's grown without any pesticides or anything. So, very, very healthy. Do you anybody try to eat healthy at the house? Don't have to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> we it could be incriminating. <laughs> we do. We try and eat. But you healthy. know, you both look so great. You need something to stir that with? Yes, and and sometimes I put a little bit of oil in after it goes. It oh, gets do you? Boiling just to keep it from uh, boiling over. I always but keep my olive oil with oh, me. I love olive oil. And too. I don't, you know what? When I'm cooking anything that has to do with pasta, I always get everything from Italy. I don't know what it is about the olive oil from Italy and the pasta from Italy, but it's just the best. So it I'll let you put that in, and I'm it's going to. With. Get a big spoon for you because I've always heard that once you put the pasta into the pot to keep it from sticking together, you should stir it for a few minutes. Right. I think I have enough in there. What do you think? Is that good? Mm -hmm. uh, a little we'll bit do more. A smidgen more. Well, it tastes so good. In it my does. opinion, there's never too much olive oil. I know. Oh. I'll, I'll put it on my sweet potatoes and I'll wrap them up and put them on the grill. <gasps> oh, great. Rub it on the idea. sweet potatoes. See, this woman is full right. of all kinds of hints. Okay, I'll stir this up for you. And what do you say we let Buddy sing for us? Okay. This That'd is a great, great video. That is this lady's husband, Buddy Jewel. Tanae Jewel is here. Hi. Are you used to seeing him on TV and uh, hearing him on the radio? You know, yet? with three kids and him gone a lot, I don't get in front of the TV very I'm much. I that you have a lot, a lot of work to do. Busy. They Buddy, do, you gonna come help busy. us? Or you're just gonna sit over there in the corner. I'm waiting until it's finished cooking. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Buddy says he's not gonna come help us. He wants it to. Be Buddy came today. We, or do you want to tell them? He's he, he came to eat. Exactly. <laughs> he said basically he's on the road a lot. He doesn't get the good home cooking anymore. When he found out today was cooking today, he goes, "I'm there," 
and so we have to fix them a big plate. <laughs> well, when they take it home and warm it up for dinner. <laughs> they, there you go. Now, the, the next thing that we have to do is make the marinade for the chicken. The chicken. The chicken mm -hmm. strips. So, you we have some... Oh, we get, Set that out get that out of the way. Yeah. Is that French dressing? This is, this is French dressing, and I like the regular French, not the, the Catalina French. This seems to have a much better taste for it. It's, I guess this is about a half a cup of French dressing. Have a, a tablespoon, I guess. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Mm-hmm. And, and, and a little lemon juice. Lemon juice. Maybe about a half a teaspoon there. And that's all yeah. the marinade is. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. Mix it up, and you'll cut your chicken up, and you'll put it in here and put it in the refrigerator for about two hours. The longer you leave it, the more it soaks it up. So the better uh, flavor. Now has. this is my big question because people do things differently when they make these. Do you cut the chicken chunks? I kind of wanted to see how large yours are. I like to cut them in thin strips because oh, it strips. seems to cook better. Mm -hmm. And I and I wigwam them on here. It just looks prettier. You know something? All right, wigwam. I'm not sure I know what. I'm not sure I know what that is. Would you show me real quick? Because normally I just cut them in chunks and then just stack everything well, on I, the skewer. Let's take this. You know, just over like it. here. And it looks so pretty, and I Isn't messed it up. Nice? No, no. Well, and, and when I cut it, too, I also cut all the, the extra out because my daughter doesn't want anything chewy. Uh-huh. See, <laughs> the kids have their taste, don't they? I was that way when I was a kid. Mom had to make us all something special. You do it just about like that. And after it's soaked, then I wigwam it like that. Oh, so it's not even cut in the chunks. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So... After you soak it, you wigwam it on, and then you do the same with the bacon. So when it comes out, it makes a pretty little... Well, is that, that... Where did you learn to do that? That's very different. Probably my mom. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Mom. Okay, well, let's go ahead and cut this up in the, the strips, and we'll get it marinated. Take a break and come back with more music and more of Tanae Jewel here on the show. This is fun. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> on the next Country Music Across America, songwriters... And Everybody back on Celebrity Kitchen with Tanae Jewel. Her husband Buddy is on the sidelines and going, "Hurry up, gals! I'm hungry." I assume that he really likes these kebabs. <laughs> so I love the way you're doing this. These kebabs are not cut into chunks. Long strips of chicken that Tanae is going to marinate for how many hours? About two hours. About two hours. Mm -hmm. In this, uh, it's French dressing. Worcestershire sauce, a little lemon juice. A little lemon juice. Mm -hmm. But uh, the Worcestershire and the lemon are enough to make the French dressing taste really different and nice. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we do with the bacon? Does it go in the marinade as well? You can put it in the marinade or you can do it afterwards. Hmm. Whichever you want to do. What do you think would be good? Is it going to be... It's all slippery. It's <laughs> <laughs> There's no way around so it, folks. We're slip sliding away today. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what would you do at home? I want to do it the way you would actually do it. I would it. put it in the marinade. You would? I would coat it. And this is a lot. Look at that's, that's a lot of bacon. bacon. How much and do you I'm want? Mess it up. You know, I feel Say so hi. bad because you're the guest and my hands are just clean as a whistle and I'm making you get all messy. They're always messy. Ah, oh, okay. Four if you count, buddy. <laughs> oh, buddy. He'll admit to that. He will. He will admit to it. You know what? And you're the one on camera, so there's nothing you can do about it right now. <laughs> Isn't that a good feeling? Now, see, are you, are you learning the power that you have when you're the one in front of the camera? You can do whatever you uh, darn well please. <laughs> <laughs> I Body, haven't learned that yet. Are you going to teach me? <laughs> we're, we're creating a monster here with Janae. All right. While she keeps on getting the uh, bacon and the chicken in the marinade, here's Sarah Evans with a song. I, it's just so catchy. I love Suds in the Bucket. Here it is. Sarah Evans, suds in the bucket, and we have marinade in the pot. All of the chicken, and we uh, have the bacon strips. And by the way, Buddy said we should mention that the bacon is cut in half. Yeah. So it'll be about the size of the chicken strips. Mm -hmm. Now, normally, this is supposed to marinate for several hours just to get all the good flavors in there. But I really wanted to just bump it up here and let uh, Tanae show us how to wigwam. <laughs> so what is My the wigwam? wigwam? Well, basically, just... That's what just I call wigwam. One so end over end. Just mm -hmm. Look at that. And, it, I and it one? is very messy, yes. And, and I right. put one piece of chicken, and then I just take one piece of bacon. Oh, so you don't lay the bacon on top. You do them differently. Now, you can wigwam right. it inside. Ow! I just wigwammed my finger. 
I want to make sure that <laughs> I'm not bleeding, am I? I, I don't, don't want to put that. So. <laughs> How do you do it without wigwamming your finger? You have to separate your fingers. Okay. <laughs> She didn't tell me that before I started. Can you tell I don't skewer a lot? I'm not a a big, I, although I love kebabs, I'm not a big kebab person. I don't know why I don't, well, that fell apart. Tonight, well, I do it separate. I do the, the chicken, and then I do the bacon, and then the chicken, and then when I put it out on the plates, because sometimes the kids don't want to eat the bacon, they can pick. Right. You know how okay. kids are. They, I'll listen. Yes, so. Indeed. All right. This, you know what? I feel real awkward at this, but I guess once you... Well, see, I've already been messy, so, you know. Okay, I, so I've I'm, got one I'm, on there. There you go. I'm going to keep practicing in the commercial break. And <laughs> <laughs> please pray I don't wound myself. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> My kebab and Tanae's kebab. If you can see, now hers are these two over here. Look how uniform they are. <laughs> I have very large lumps of uh, chicken where I didn't do it no, quite it as gracefully. No, it was a thick piece of chicken. That's all. That's what it was. That's what it was. Now normally, Tanae says that she and Buddy go outside and they uh, they grill these. But since we don't have a grill, we are going to put it on a, uh, a grill pan in the oven. Mm -hmm. Should we spray it just a bit? I would. Or? I would definitely. Now, see, this gets all over, so just a little spray. And I'll let you, the one with the messy hands, <laughs> put them there. Now, do you have any idea broiling these, how long they will take as opposed to grilling them out? Mm. Hmm. I'm not really sure. I know I like to leave mine on the grill for about 20 minutes because it's chicken and I want to make sure they're really good and done. 20 minutes and it doesn't burn, so, huh? Mm -mm. Wow. Okay, well, but let's I see what I baste them and I turn them a lot, too. Oh, that's right. Now, you actually make an extra set of the marinade mm -hmm. just to keep basting them throughout mm -hmm. the entire cooking process. So if you're going to do it on the boiler, you probably could pull it out every five minutes and just baste it and turn it. Fantastic. Well, I'll go ahead and put so, these in. I'll let okay. you clean up. And here's Dirk's Bentley with what was I thinking. That's what Tanae is thinking. Look at our kebabs, everybody. Yay. Those are cooking very, very quickly. And so you put a little bit more of that marinade on there. And turn it, it and then use and don't use the marinade that you basically to make it fresh i don't think it's a good you idea know, to. today and i had a, a big conversation about that you never want to use the uh, same marinade to base that you used to marinate because then it has the juices from the meats in it and you don't want to keep putting raw juice on top of your oh. meat so yeah. just make an extra batch of your marinade it's always good and you can use it for something else if you have some leftover mm -hmm. especially like it for dipping too oh good idea i love that and so the marinade, this marinade will not burn on there, right? It just kind of melts mm -hmm. into the meat. Mm -hmm. That is, ooh, that is lovely. There you go. Okay, we'll put them back in. Let them go for a few more minutes. They're, they're cooking very, very quickly. In the meantime, yeah. we're the salad that's so good. I went ahead and drained the pasta, and <clears> today <throat> has a great trick. When the pasta is really hot, go ahead and rinse it in cold water. Rinse it in water. Really cold and water. And what are the reasons mm -hmm. that you do that? I do that to get rid of the oil on it, and I also want the pasta to be chilled. I don't want it to be warm because you're going to have your fresh vegetables in there, and you don't want them to melt. And they kind of wilt or something. Yeah, melt yeah. or wilt or whatever. <laughs> so the first thing you do to prepare the pasta salad is make the dressing. And how do you do that? There are a lot of spices here, folks. There are a lot of spices. I, I take the Italian dressing, and I just put everything in here. So All right, I'm going to hand it to you. You go ahead and I'll put this in here and what do we have there? We have the uh, tablespoon of the grated Parmesan cheese. Okay. And I'll put that in there for you. Okay. You, get, you can go ahead and get the rest of that out. I love Parmesan, so I don't want to leave it out. We have sesame seeds, one tablespoon of those. Mm -hmm. A tablespoon of poppy seeds. These are the ones that get stuck in your teeth and make you look funny. <laughs> <laughs> we have two teaspoons of seasoned salt. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of times people write to me and they say, well, what is seasoned salt? That is something like Lowry's, is that what that is, or? Well, there is actually a seasoning that says seasoned salt. Lowry's, I guess, is just a certain kind just of brand, brand that you can use. Okay, so just look for seasoned salt. Mm -hmm. So that's a teaspoon of the paprika, mm -hmm. a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Mm -hmm. Gotta have garlic. Half oh, Love yes. garlic. <laughs> that is so good for you. <laughs> half teaspoon of pepper. Pepper. And here's the kicker, <laughs> half teaspoon of cayenne. But it's not hot. Now, what do you stir that up with, a fork or a spoon? A spoon, usually. Let me grab a spoon for you. 
And stir while you stir that up. up, we will go to a quick break. And when we come back, you will see what all the great ingredients that go into the pasta salad. This is a really healthy one. America has voted, and Brad Cotter is this year's Nashville star winner. Back on Celebrity Kitchen with Tanae Jewel. Buddy is on the sidelines there just waiting to try our chicken kebabs and our pasta salad. What's that road food like? Not nearly as good as yours, huh? <laughs> I don't no, think I want to know. No, it's not. And if it is, he better not tell me. <laughs> Watch out. Buddy's looking pretty good, so he must be trying to eat healthy out he there. He is. He's doing real well. And I know it's hard to do. I mean, gosh, I mean, you're so busy and going from town to town. Well, and the hours... You know, when he gets off stage, sometimes it's 11, 12 o'clock, and if he signs until 1, that's the first time you get to eat, and that's the mm -hmm. worst time to eat, so. And you're probably starving, so you just eat everything yeah. inside. I know I've done that a few times myself. But do you go out on the road much? Do you get to see the fan reactions? We do. do. We actually get to go out mm -hmm. quite a bit, which is really nice, and the kids love it. Of course, our 3-year-old, unfortunately, he thinks that everybody's dad gets to go out on stage and has a tour uh. bus and that they're going to go out. <laughs> Not quite the case. <laughs> no. He lives a very unusual life. He does. His he family. Does. And the kids love it. I think Lacey's probably signed as many autographs as Buddy. Well, and I'm because of the song, right? Because help, of the help song. Pour Out the Rain, which we're going to hear later in this show. Right now, Tanae and I are putting all these fresh, wonderful ingredients into the pasta salad. She's got cucumbers going, and I'm trying to uh, dice up the onion. Is that going to be small enough, or do you really that's, want it no, tiny? No, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Bless you. And you can do your cucumbers. If you don't like the the, uh, the peel on, you can just... Oh, I yeah. just took it in. You did it the pretty way. Just to give it a little. Oh, God, I cannot wait <laughs> to try this. Okay, we'll keep moving on here. A little bit and different. He, here is uh, Terry Clark with Girls Lie Too. Aw. <laughs> Boy, we have been hard at work. We have cut up all of these vegetables for the pasta salad. So. And you did all the onion, thank you. Thank, I know. <laughs> I smell so wonderful. So what do we put in then? Just everything goes put into everything our in. dressing? We put everything in. Okay, big onion. Let's just go for it. Right there. I could have cut these probably small. It might have been better. But. And I do wait on the tomatoes. Those go in later. But these I put in because I want them to soak up some of that seasoning. And tomatoes go in later because... Is there any particular reason? Um, just because go down into them and they'll be overpowering, so I kind of let these soak it up. Okay. Like. Now you were thinking we might have too many cucumbers. You want me to hold back? Yeah, let's hold back. Yeah. Let's see. Oops. Go ahead. Just a little bit more. Go ahead. Just throw in it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of throwing in this kitchen. <laughs> as long as these. it's not knives, we're okay, right? Yes, indeed. <laughs> we do not want knives. Okay. That looks good. Okay, the pasta will go in here momentarily along with the tomatoes when we come back. Gosh, that smells awesome. Welcome back. I'm here. Mr. Buddy Jewel has joined us to do the taste testing. I was going to let him mix the pasta into the sauce, and Tanae says, no. <laughs> She I'll said, get it on me. She says you're messy, <laughs> buddy. I am. Mm. That's probably plenty. By the way, at the beginning of that, you saw our beautiful... Ba Can I just bring this in here? Wild Oats is just amazing to me. They have the best food. They made us a big basket. They have their own brand now of breads and pastas, pasta sauces, all kinds of things to go with their great produce. So I just wanted to show that off. They're just awesome. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful things. Let you guys take this home if you want it. Oh, great. How about that? That's well, beautiful. Tanae never gets enough baskets. <laughs> I, I'm the... <laughs> you can't even sleep on the bed because there are so many baskets in our houses. <laughs> well, look how beautiful uh, our pasta is. Do you guys have this a lot, buddy? We, you know what, especially in the summertime when we're grilling a lot. Mm -hmm. We, today uh, makes this, and of course and I love the kebabs, and I usually put a little bit of uh, vegetables like some onion or uh, uh, some bell peppers on my kebabs, too. Oh, yeah, that would be good as well. The kebabs are pretty much done. In fact, <laughs> I'm going to just hold these up. These... <laughs> are just just about right. We almost <laughs> burned them. Tanae and I were having so much fun making the pasta. All of a sudden, Buddy screams out, is anybody watching the kebabs? <laughs> but I think they're just about right. Yeah, you? those two are Tanae's kebabs, and then there's Lori Ann's <laughs> kebab. Kebab. <laughs> <laughs> now, he will tell you that if it goes in the oven, 
I burn it. Aww. I cannot make the bread. Yeah, it's keep so, me away from the bread. We're, we're being consistent. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm learning all the secrets between these two. <laughs> How long have you two been married, by the way? It'll be uh, 16 years <gasps> in December. December. Oh, yeah. God, they just have the sweetest love story. It just, <sighs> I mean, just bring out the Kleenex. And here's the song, folks, that just really helped start it. Help pour out the rain. A song I bet you will never in your life get tired of singing. No. So sweet. And so, I mean, the kids, I mean, are the kids just still so excited about the whole star thing and being able to travel around and see Dad be so successful? You know, I think so. It's, you know, the older two especially because they, you know, saw us struggle here for 10 years, you know, right. hoping for our, our dreams to come true. And so they really appreciated a bunch, and, and they have a great time. They really enjoy getting to go out on the road with me. and. Uh, oh. Every now and then, Joshua will actually make an appearance on stage with me as well. So you never know what you're going to get when you come to one of it's my It's always shows. a surprise at a Buddy yeah. Jewel concert. That's right. And it's always a surprise cooking with him. He just stole my fork, so I can't taste it. <laughs> Thank you, Buddy. There's your fork right there. Yeah, where was yours? That's quite all right. Okay. Okay, we're there. tasting the kebabs, one of Buddy and Tanae's favorite things to make at the house. Kebabs first. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now they're way ahead of me. Mm -hmm. Man, you know what? The marinating makes all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. Remember, two or three hours at least to get mm -hmm. that dressing in there. Mm. There's your wigwam. And there's the wigwam. Same. That's how you do it, see? Just fold your chicken. Fold your bacon. That's it. A wigwam is just folding the chicken. All right, mm. I'm trying the pasta now. And I apologize in advance. But these... Oop. This has so many... <laughs> spices in it. I'm dying to try it. Okay, excuse me, but... Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh, my. Oh, today. Isn't that good? Mm, yeah. Oh. These guys are incredible. I, I tell you, the kids, will they will pull the, mm -hmm. the bowl out of the refrigerator. And I have to watch them because they'll eat right out of the bowl. This <laughs> is outstanding. Thank you both so much. And, folks, I want to remind you that Buddy Jewel is out all across the country. Every fair and festival in the universe, is that right? I'm there. <laughs> okay. You may see today out there. Get her to cook for you. Oh. <laughs> Great job. And congratulations Thank you for having on your wonderful life. Thank Bye, you. everybody. Thank you. All. The recipe ingredients for Lori Ann Crook's Celebrity Kitchen are provided by Wild Oats Natural Marketplace. This is...